Welcome to your first 40 days as a Christian. Today we start with day one, saved completely. In Colossians 1 verse 21, the Bible reads, Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your journey established and firm and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and that was proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. So we have a pre-Christian state when we were alienated from God, enemies of God, and our behavior was evil. But then we become Christians and by God's amazing grace, we're reconciled to God. We're holy. We're free from accusation. But the key is if we continue, if we continue in our faith and we do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. And this points us to our faith journey. We are Christian now. That means we are reconciled to God. We are holy. We are free from accusation if we continue on our faith journey. If we continue being Christians, we are saved completely if we continue on this incredible journey that God has put us on. In First John 3, the Bible reads, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Our, our goal as Christians is to be with Jesus and be like Jesus. So as we close out the first lesson in our 40-day journey, it's to remember that we are saved completely by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are reconciled to God. We are holy we are free from accusation and that our goal is to anticipate, wait for Jesus to return and to be like him in the present as much as we will be like him when he returns. And that our lifestyle is Christian and not pre-Christian lifestyle. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Hope it has been helpful. God bless you.